What's up guys? I'm here with Jess and we're about to do a little photo shoot and today's video topic is how to pose models. When I first started out doing portrait photography, I had no idea how to pose models and I still am not an expert on it but I've learned a lot since I started and it's just a lot of fun to be able to work with a model and you know figure out what works best and how to pose them and what positions look best and what makes them feel comfortable so yeah we're gonna take you along for the ride today and uh, yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun we have Mark behind the camera and we're gonna kind of jump into it right now so let's do it What's up guys? So we're here in this very amazing woody, woodsy, I should say, woodsy scenery. And uh, yeah, just gonna take some shots. I think right now we're gonna focus on, oh, dog's coming. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> he like looked at her and goes, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. Okay. It's like, oh. I told you guys I can't leave the house. <laughs> we got Jess over here looking stellar and we're gonna work on angles. So one big tip that I've learned and I had no idea at first, but now I really kind of understand that to take interesting photos, especially of people, you gotta get those good angles and maybe shoot up shoot up at people and you know get those cool angles so we're gonna do a couple shots right now make me look tall. Yeah. <laughs> awesome yeah maybe put the hand behind the head a little bit change that up and i like doing a lot of nature stuff so it's cool to actually get the nature or get like leaves or something in the photo with the person it makes it really cool and kind of gives you a context of the scene so we're shooting up at her i'm gonna like get a little bit of a different angle over here Awesome, great job. And one thing that I've learned too that Mark told me about is like, give some encouragement to the model. Uh, Jess has experience, so I think she's, you know, she doesn't need a ton. She like knows what she's doing already, but it's also nice to say, hey, I like that pose. Like, I like what you're doing. And like, you can kind of work with the model and kind of, you know, vibe off each other. It's cool. All right, awesome, hold that. Awesome, great stuff. I'm gonna do another one like this. Could you go back to that same pose again? Yeah, perfect. Awesome. All right, and I'm gonna do a couple like more close up, shooting down like I was before. Awesome. Could you turn your head slightly more towards me? Yeah. Perfect. Ooh, I like that with your head against the tree there. So I'm trying to work with the angles, see what looks good. Shooting down at her. Awesome. Could you look over there and then on the count of three, look back. One, two, three. Awesome. And then I'm going to do some ones over here, kind of looking up. And let's do, let's do a couple where you're, um, you're kind of walking. I'll do like a series of shots. You're kind of walking and like turning around like this, maybe okay. over your left shoulder. Okay. And uh, I'll do like a series of photos. I'll snap a few. Uh, let me change my setting here. So what are you having her do? Yeah, I'm actually having Jess do kind of walk, walk this way and then turn around to create a little bit of movement. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to have her do it a few times to have a few different um, angles of it. Since we're talking about the angles right now, and also along with the angles, I think I've learned through Mark and through other photographers, like creating some kind of movement makes it more interesting instead of always the having the model very static. So 
you know, play around with it and you can see what cool shots you get out of it. Okay? So yeah, I'm gonna change my setting real quick. Let's see here. I'm gonna do burst mode on my camera. Uh, all, all cameras pretty much have this. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change my focus to continuous focus so that I can make sure that I lock on the focus while she's moving. So that's something that I recently learned how to do, you know, a little bit better. So we have her set up right now. Change this, bear with me, Jess. And yeah, <laughs> let's do it. So let's, uh, let's have you, yeah, I'll go right here. I'm gonna go from this like low angle and just walk like a couple steps and then turn around. Awesome, let's do that one more time. Okay. Dead trees. Dead trees. So I'm walking focus onto her face right now. And I'm gonna kind of work with the angles. I'm gonna shoot up at her this time. I'm gonna try to get a little bit lower. All right, ready? Three, two, one. on this log right now and I like this high angle here shooting down at her and we're gonna have her do some hair flips because yeah. why not? <laughs> Alright, ready? Alright, ready? Don't die, please. <laughs> I don't know why I can't find my balance. Here we go. Alright. So you can flip however you want to flip. Alright. Three, two, one. Watch out for the dog poop behind you. Ooh, you got no. so close. Ooh. So close. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I almost stepped in a huge pile of dog poop. Like, look at how close that is. You can't get much closer. <laughs> this also can happen on uh, shoots. You yeah. Never know. You really never know. All right, let's shoot through these, uh, through these trees here. Yes. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> so I was just thinking how to do it. All right, is it ready? Yes. Okay, so Jess just reminded me of a great thing and a great tip for having people pose. And I've actually learned this through one of my friends who does modeling in New York. It's a very similar thing to what Jess said. And what she said is, you know, if someone is looking, have their, their pose isn't quite right or their face isn't looking quite right, you have them close their eyes, count to three, and then look at the camera. And you can do the same kind of thing where you have them look away. So I'll look away and then the photographer counts to three or counts down from three, and then as soon as they say one or they say three, you look back at the camera, and then that's when you snap the picture because it's a little bit more natural than just waiting there for them to take the picture. So they're just, it's that moment, <laughs> capturing that one moment when they look right at the lens, and that's kind of the magic moment, right? So, this magic moment. <laughs> that would be sick if I played that song. <laughs> so good. Uh, and if you've seen Sandlot, guys, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Great song. Anyway, uh, let's do one more location okay. and one more tip. All right, guys, so we did some tips at this location. We're gonna have Jess switch her outfit and we're gonna move on to the next location. So because of this little transition, cue the cinematic sequence. tip guys and we're gonna talk about what to do with your hands because a lot of times I don't know what to do with my hands so you know when I started having people pose for me for portrait photography or editorial photography I really didn't know what they should do with their hands but you know if you kind of play with it right now we're gonna have Jess be in these leaves and these whatever this is this tree 
and we're gonna have her, you know, hold the tree and then maybe, you know, do some stuff, like have her hands on her face, things like that. So we're gonna play around and yeah, have them pose, do things with their hand because your hands are important. <laughs> Similar thing back in the bush, but like, let's have you kind of, yeah, like drape them around you, like frame your face, sort of. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm gonna shoot. Nice, I like it. All right guys, the sun, the sun just came out, so it's really strong light right now since it's in the afternoon. So I'm gonna boost up the shutter speed just so I have more, you know, I have more to work with and it's not super overexposed. So let's do one where you have your hands like kind of on your face like this, like, yeah, nice. And then, yeah, like that, hold the, Hold the tree or the bush, whatever it is right there. Perfect. Get down here. We're gonna have a judge run up the hill. I'm gonna take a burst mode of her running up there and, <laughs> you know, related to the hands topic that we were talking about right now, for this one, her hands are kind of moving naturally so we can kind of just work with, uh, you know, what she what she has there. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have you run up there. All right, let's do that one more time. <laughs> So I, those were slightly overexposed, so I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna change my settings. I'm gonna up the shutter speed and mess with the aperture a little bit. And then we should be, uh, should be good to go. Okay, let's do that one more time, I'm running up there. All right, what's up guys? We just finished up the shoot with Jess here. So we went over shooting at different angles, also went over some movement, and also hands over here. We talked about what, what models can do with their hands. Again, you know, when I started out doing portrait photography, I didn't fully know how to pose models. And I've learned a lot in the last like six months or so getting really into this, and also just being around people that know what they're doing. And a lot of times, we don't know what looks good. You just try things out. And like, even if you don't know what you want the model to do, just try something. That's kind of the biggest thing that I've realized in this whole thing. You don't always fully know. You kind of like act like you know, and then just kind of roll with it and it usually works. So just fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. You know how it is. <laughs> so yeah, today was awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you learned something. All right, have a good one guys. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> My bladder would have been like, mm, <laughs> hands tip. If you don't know All right, let's do... how to do dancer hands, you gotta like jazz hands. Yeah, jazz, jazz hands. hands. Not jazz hands. Don't do jazz <laughs> hands. But if you let your hands go naturally, they should cascade, and this will look prettier than this. <laughs> okay, it's a good one. Awesome. Tips from the model. You gotta hey. love it.